Hi everyone, my name is Massimo. I am a Microsoft technical trainer and one of the experts in the uh, MTT infrastructure learning room. Today in this uh, small video, I would like to uh, talk about uh, uh, a, an interesting uh, feature of the object of the storage account that it is called object replication that allow you to replicate uh, um, your blob in, inside a storage account in different region. You know that uh, uh, in a storage account, you have a built-in replication. So imagine you have this region. This is, uh, for example, uh, North Europe. And you have a storage inside this region. And the storage uh, contain data uh, that are accessed from your users uh, through an application, an app, app service, for example. So the app service read data from the storage and your user are there. So you know that uh, you, you have a built-in replication in the West Europe for, for the storage account, and this replication is called the Geo GRS. Okay, so this is a, a built in replication, asynchronous replication. Uh, your data is uh, uh, saved in the primary, in this case, North Europe for, in three uh, copies. And then there is a replication in the other uh, region, the pair region, uh, in other three copies. But you cannot choose your your region. You cannot choose your the secondary region because it is the pair region uh, of the North Europe. And, but what happened if you have uh, another region of your application? I don't know, for example, uh, um, West US with the storage, again, the same infrastructure. So you have a storage, you have an app service, and another endpoint, and other users then can access the other part okay what's happening what what can i do of course this uh, this storage in uh, uh, west you as as its own built-in replication another grs in uh, in this case uh, east us okay but what i can do to uh read data for example from north europe to the storage in west us of course, what can I do is read direct from the uh, North Europe front end to the uh, yeah, uh, West US uh, storage. But it is not a good idea because, because for several reasons, I want to try to expose you what are the reason because it is not a good idea. First of all, uh, latency. Immediately, it is immediately uh, uh, clear that uh, a user that want to read the data from the storage in the West US need to retrieve the data from far from the region. Okay, so uh, the latency is more than the same. The latency uh, I would I will have uh, if I read it directly in the same region. First of all, second, the cost. Every time a user reads something in another region, uh, and this uh, object is uh, yeah streamed uh, by my app service, my by my front end, uh, I pay for the data that passed from in this case uh, West US to North Europe, and then from the data that exit from North Europe because I pay for the uh, for the for the data for the bandwidth uh, outside the intra region. So in this case. Uh, uh, to intra-region connection because I need to retrieve storage data from another region and put um, and, and, and use in an app service and then uh, uh, send to the to the user. Number three, I will, uh, sorry. Availability. Yeah, because uh, uh, in this case, uh, uh, in this case, uh, what's happened if uh, West US goes down? 
if uh, West US goes down as region, I cannot read data uh, uh, from the app service, and it is not a good idea. Of course, uh, I can use the GRS in this case because if uh, West US goes down and uh, my storage is configured uh, to use GRS, uh, again I can I can read the data uh, because uh, Azure can read the data starting from East US. Yeah, but it's not a good idea for these three uh, reasons, latency, cost, and availability, to read uh, from an app service uh, to another region. But what can I do? I can use a storage, uh, I can use an object replication. So I can say, I have a, a con here, and I want to replicate this container to the other part, and I have a container here, and I want to I want to replicate to this uh, other part. So I I want to uh, move. I want to replicate. I want to sync uh, data from both storage to each other. So uh, honestly, there is another way. Uh, there is another way uh, because uh, it's not a good idea to read an app service. Uh, um, from the app service to different storage, it just a, a management idea, a management problem. Uh, because uh, when you you need to interact from the app service, from your code uh, to the storage, you need the URL for the storage. I, I suppose you use the, the, the role based access control to access the data, but you need the URL. So if you have multiple storage, in this case, the app service in the, uh, North Europe need to access to the storage in North Europe and in uh, 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 West US. So this, the app service need to manage two endpoint, two URL. Imagine what's happening if you have three storage or four storage. So uh, the idea is I want to interact with one single storage in the same region. And I want to manage the synchronization between the storages uh, using the object replication. So now we move to the to the portal, and uh, I want to show you how the this uh, feature works. So in, in this uh, uh, resource group, uh, I have two. Uh, let me okay. I have two storage, one in North Europe and the other one in West US. Uh, both of the storage are in GRS uh, replication. Yeah, but I want to uh, synchronize both. So I enter in this one, I show you. I want to configure the, uh, the, the object replication. So go there. Oh, in, in, in this time, I already, I already created the replica, I already, already created a, a replication rule, but I want to show you how you can uh, create this one. So create a new replication rule. Again, you can do it using the portal. You can do it using the bash CLI command line interface, or you can use PowerShell on, or you can use a JSON file and a template. But just to, uh, to be clear, the first thing you need to, to to configure is the destination storage account. So in my in my scenario, I am in MTT North Europe storage. I want to replicate to the MTT West US storage. So it's okay. Uh, in, in this case, uh, already exists a replication uh, rule, but I, I show you later. Uh, but it's this error. You don't have this error if you create the first one. And let me go to the a rule I already prepared and go there and make edit rule. So the first thing you select, uh, you choose is the destination storage account. Then you choose the source container. You can uh, synchronize uh, from a storage to another storage. Uh, a sing uh, you can create a re rule for single container. So in this case, I have a local container in the uh, North Europe uh, and the destination container to the uh, West US uh, and say, I want to, si to synchronize all the things from local to remote. This is the name of it, the container. You can choose whatever you want. I choose local and remote just because I don't want to make a mistake during the demo, but you can use the whatever you want. You can add some filters. For example, I want to um, 
uh, synchronize all the uh, blob that start from A or B or whatever you want. And you can choose if you want to copy everything, only new object from now, from the, the, the moment you create this uh, rule, or custom means after a, a, a date. Okay, I choose everything, it's okay. So when you create this one, um, this, this rule, you can see this rule from this point of view. This is the object copied from this account. But if I go to the other one, to the other storage and look on their object replication, I can see another, uh, the same rule here, object copied into the account. So you have, uh, two set of rules, the rules that start from the account you are looking for, looking to, and the rule that have as destination the account you are in. So in this case, uh, are only one rule, but you can have two point of view. What's happening now? If I go to the container, oh, first of all, when you apply a rule, you need you need the, 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 the portal uh, enabled for you, but you need to enable the versioning and the uh, feed, uh, the change feed. And you can check, uh, go to the data protection. If you go to the data protection, you have this one enabled and this one enabled. Even if you, you didn't enable on, on the startup on the, when you create the storage, uh, these two features is, uh, are used by the, the uh, by the object replication because uh, the change feed uh, tell to the uh, uh, to the to the object replication what the blobs need to synchronize uh, and the other one maintain the single version for the blob so uh, this uh, you cannot disable this one because you have the object replication then let me go to the container this one and the container in this other part in this other part as you can see here you have the blob change feed enabled. Uh, this uh, this uh, uh, system uh, container is created by the, the the storage when you create the, when you enable the change feed. So I put on the local and go to the remote on the other part. I upload a file, just a simple file. I don't know this one, for example. And what's happening now? You have, uh, I told you before, you have uh, an, uh, an asynchronous replication. So what this mean? You have uh, a, a, an amount of time between the uh, upload of the of the blob in the uh, source container and the synchronization. Yeah, uh, there is no uh, uh, service level agreement uh, SLA for this uh, feature now. There is no uh, an RPO, but more or less is the same you have uh, for the um, replication, built-in replication, geographical built-in replication. So less than uh, 15 minutes for the RPO in, in this case. So we need to wait for a second, 30 seconds more or less uh, uh, in, in, my, in my subscription, but yeah, it's okay. And uh, uh, the interesting uh, if, is uh, that you can understand when for a single blob, uh, the replication policy is uh, completed or not, because uh, when uh, the replication is complete here, we can see uh, a new metadata that tell me what is the replication uh, policy, the idea of the replication policy and the status. So we wait for uh, some seconds and then we can uh, see the the result. Oh, before before we, uh, it, it, it's up, Red, I want to show you another thing just to uh, to wait. If I go to object replication and uh, I want to uh, look on the uh, and I look on the rule, I can download rules. So I can download the uh, the file that describe uh, this uh, particular rule because uh, because I can go there and. Uh, upload a file. So I can create one rule one time and use in different storage. Another configuration, interesting configuration is this one. If I go there, I can enable the cross-tenant replication. So 
this replication may be between two storage in your tenant, in different, in the same uh, subscription, of course, in different subscription, but also in a different tenant. So it uh, opens uh, interesting scenarios for uh, for my for our uh, solution. So yeah, let me go again on the on the container and uh, refresh there. We have the the new file, the new blob. Sorry, in the other one. As you can see, more or less uh, is uh, yeah 20 seconds, uh, 25 seconds uh, between uh, the modified data in the source and the modified data in uh, the destination. But the interesting thing is this metadata here. So this is the policy ID, this is the rule ID, this is the status. So for each blob, because you can synchronize a source container with different remote uh, remote containers. Uh, for each rule, for each policy, for each rule, you have uh, the status. So you can understand if the synchronization is uh, in place or is completed. Yeah, it's uh, great. Um, you have uh, one limitation. The destination account, the destination container will be blocked. So you can delete data. If I go there, I can delete it. I can delete this blob, but I cannot upload. So if I try to upload another blob, probably I receive an error. Just because the synchronization in one way, it's just one way from the source to the destination. You cannot modify the destination. And uh, of course, if you check, if you delete this one, if you delete the source uh, uh, blob, uh, after a month of time for the synchronization time, you, uh, you, the, the destination blob disappear. So yeah, the synchronization is also for the for the deletion. Uh, this uh, thing uh, solves uh, this uh, feature solves uh, our problem. Let me check. So in this uh, in this way, I solve the latency because uh, I can read data. I can read the, from the my front end to the storage in the same region. So the latency is uh, the latency for the region. For the cost uh, is good because uh, what you pay for the uh, object replication, of course you pay the uh, the amount of storage you occupy on the destination and you pay for the traffic. But this traffic, this traffic is one time, only one. So when you create a uh, blob, you have the synchronization one time. If, you re if your users read every time from a remote storage, you have traffic for each blob that the user read, reads. So it's also the cost. For the availability, if West US goes down now, I can continue to read data because I read data from my storage in my region, in my primary region. So yeah, it's good. And from management, yeah, I read only from one point. I have only one uh, endpoint for my storage. The app service in the front end in North Europe reads data from the storage in North Europe. Uh, West US reads data from the storage West US. So uh, the, yeah, the architecture is uh, simple then if I have multiple storage. So um, thank you for being here in, in this video and uh, see you later in next videos. Bye-bye.